So I thought I would come back and do some more storyline at Sims 4 or Sims in general storyline ideas that you can do because currently I have wrote up to 130 that either I thought of by myself or I've got inspired from Sims uh, stories so that's Sims 2, Sims 3, Sims 4, you name it um, or that's by certain Simmers such as Hatsy, um, uh, Jason, I think her name is, I can't, I mean their name is, I can't remember name, uh, Simmer's names that well, and, um, was it Rad Simmer? No, I don't know. I don't know if that's the name. I can't remember. But if you just type in some stories, you'll find some of these. Or if you um, type in some story ideas, you'll find some videos. So, I think last time I left at 26 for you. But I did, I think, I don't remember if I mentioned a 27 like bonus one or not. But, yeah. So, I'm just going to go from generation 27 so there is a video before this i will try and link it if i remember um you're gonna hear my kitten and my dog playing around it's just what they do um so yeah they are gonna play around so or they're gonna be meow or bark so yeah anyway so gen tw uh, 27 air falls in love with a teen who is pregnant i think i remember saying this so before i even finish the sentence i think this was the bonus one for the last one uh, Air falls in love with a teen who is pregnant and helps them raise their baby. When they become young adults, they will get married and have a child of their own. Gen 28, kidnapped by a bully, fall in love with said bully and has kids. Uh, Gen 29, you move to Henford and Bagley or... Well, you move to Henford and Bagley... Or you can probably do this makeshift this in the base game, I guess. Uh, or build and uh, yeah, so you move there, you build and grow a farm, and help with errands in the town. Obviously, you can't do that on the base game, but yeah, helps with errands in the town, and you find your soulmate, grow your family, and see where life takes you. So, Gen Thirty, your parents love farming but you prefer the city and the limelight you have moved to san Myshuno to the place your ancestors lived many years ago you want to see the sights want to learn the culture you want a small family gen 30 your parents wanted the city feel all to them all to themselves and often left you behind with your other parent you struggle with relationships because of this but you still want a family so you have a one night stand and you have a child. You want more, so you have more. So in other words, you have more one night stands is basically what I was trying to say there. Gen 32. Your parent fell for many suitors, but was a single parent. But you want to be a super parent, not settle down with your... Oh, sorry, I said that wrong. And settle down with your one true love. But what you don't know is they're having an affair. Gen 33. You married quick as a young adult. You hire a maid to help, but you fall in love with her or him, depending what gender you get as maid, because you never know. Gen 34. Your parents cheating on your other parent caused a problem. As you caught them, now you don't trust anyone to to date them oh you don't trust anyone to uh, do more than just date them basically you'll date them but you won't uh, gen 32 two siblings share one partner free love enabled so you need an equal lifestyle for that or a mod depending uh, gen 36 move in with a bunch of single people and see who your heir likes the most to see who they want as their soulmate. Gen 32. Your parent had another child later in life.
but you know that you will most likely have to help them raise them as they may pass before the sibling becomes a young adult. Gem 38. Your parent drinks all the time and doesn't clean up. It's no wonder your other parent didn't stick around. Now you have to clean the house, pay the bills and you have to get a part-time job. Gen 39. You want to come out to your parents but you're nervous. One parent supports you, the other doesn't. But you teach them to accept you for who you are and accept and after you find your life partner. Evie, it's okay. Here you go. It's all done. Sorry about that. Um yeah, you after that you find your life partner. Evie, over there. Thank you. Uh Gen Forty. You're your foster child, you foster a child from a family that doesn't want their child, and you raise them as your own. Things get complicated when you have a biological child. However, you treat them the same. Only, so in my legacy, the way I'm playing it, so this is a little note for me. I put only bio children can become the future heir. I can become the heir. Foster kids. Can marry into the family. That's what I put. Because obviously they're not on the family tree, so it's a little bit complicated. So Gen Forty One, you get married and re and realize it's hard for your heir or partner to become pregnant, so you adopt. Only after you adopt, you find out. You have, by miracle, got pregnant and is expecting your second child. Uh, obviously, in my le legacy, the second child is the bio child, so therefore the second child will be the heir. Gen 42. One of the parents dies by accident. Now you... Now your other parent is moping around and has lots of jobs oh lost their job you help cheer them up by the time you have a family of your own it makes them so happy gen 43 you you're about to get married to love of your life after you or them find out they're expecting only for them to call off the wedding at the altar because that stirs up drama stirs up the pot gen 44 you date around till you find the one, but now you have a string of jealous exes. Gen 45. You may be the oldest child, but the younger sibling doesn't get treated very fairly by your parents. They spoil you, but not them. Gen 46. You were accidentally switched with another baby the same age as you. You don't meet your birth parents until you are a teen. When you meet the other teen who was in your place, you both fall in love with each other and get married and have children. Gen 47. This can work if you have twins or siblings. Have a couple who are happily married, have twins or two children. One, once a second child is born, they get a divorce and both take a child each and raise them separately. See where this life takes you. So this one is inspired by the film Parent Trap. That's where I got the idea from. So just I'm just saying that. Um, Gen 48. Have the heir go after a wealthy person they can date and marry. Steal their money and make sure to have some children along the way. Gen 49. Have a child with a one night stand and then your parents raise them instead. Gen 50. You want your ch child to be successful. So you train them in creating and once they become t teens, they keep singing and learn to play guitar. This is how they will make a living. Your partner doesn't agree on how you are raising their child, so they split up with you. Gen 51. 
you are very skilled when it comes to music, but you wish your parent would have just let you decide where you wanted to choose your where you wanted to choose your own path. You have a child with it. You have a, t- oh, you have a child with your teen sweetheart. You both want want to get married. Gen fifty two. Have a best friend, who has a partner. Go behind their back, fall pregnant, or get the partner pregnant. Uh, <clears throat> I will do some more ideas if you want. Um, I'll do some more right now. Uh, the next one is fifty-three. So if you want to want me to continue, I'm quite happy to continue. Um, just comment down below if you want to hear some more story ideas. Because like I said, right now I have up to 130. That could increase if I think of any more. So yeah, but right now, that's what I got. Pardon me. <coughs> Sorry, I've been speaking for a long time without... <coughs> <laughs> having a drink so yeah anyway i hope you angels have enjoyed that and like i said if you want to hear some more let me know um some of the um like i said some of the simmons that i want to give credit to are those i also want to give a, a quick shout out to taylor uh, taylor loris Uh, that summer because they're awesome. I really love their videos, especially where they show where all the woohoo spots are, where would be a perfect place to get engaged, married, those sort of things. They really, really help with um, story, like storytelling, if you can find a good place. And there were some places that, even though I've been playing The Sims 4 for a while, that I had no idea where they were so yeah anyway hope you enjoy and i should talk to you angels more later bye for now